Volkswagen is one of the car brands na nangunguna sa buong mundo. Kasabay niya yung mga Toyota. And right now, nagde-develop na sila at nagmamass produce ng mga electric vehicles. Pero, hindi pa rin nila iniiwanan ang mga gasoline-powered vehicles sa lineup nila. Kumbaga, ito pa rin yung transition period nila. And dito nga sa Pilipinas, wala pa rin naman tayong concrete law regarding electric vehicles. Kumbaga, mababa pa yung mga restriction na pinapatupad regarding EVs. So, mapapaisip ka ngayon eh, sulit pa bang bumili ng mga gasoline-powered na sasakyan? Let's find out! Meet the Volkswagen Tiguan 280 TSI DSG SE. And just like its sedan brothers, the La Vida, Lamando, and Santana, it is not aggressive. Kumbaga, kung compare mo siya sa segment niya like the CRVs and RAV4, ito na naman yung ginagamit natin na word na timeless. Kasi puro siya straight lines. But it's not outdated. And the design is not overly styled and still has this conservative but premium look from Volkswagen. Kumbaga yung mga bibili nito, obviously, mas pinili ang comfort and premium feels kesa style. The Volkswagen Tiguan has a 1.4 inline turbo with blue motion technology and mated with a 6-speed automatic transmission. And para lumakas yung appeal, nilagyan nila ito ng 19-inch Savannah Magwheels from Volkswagen. Pero yung stock nito, 17 inches lang. And like a typical crossover, Maluwag ang trunk space nito. Kumbaga hindi rin siya nalalayo sa competition. Pag pumasok ka sa loob, dun mo na makukumpara ang Tiguan sa competition. Kumbaga nandito na yung European feels. And yung mga materials na ginamit, like sa sidings, soft padded siya. And yung seats, leather with white stitchings. Meron din pala tong power adjustable seats. The only downside na nakita ko sa Volkswagen Tiguan ay ang radio niya. Kasi standard lang yung AM, FM, Bluetooth at CD player. And unfortunately, there is no cruise control as well, which unlikely in this price segment. For 1,650,000 pesos, is it still worth it to buy a conservative-looking European crossover? And before anything else, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and hit the bell notification. And kung meron kayo mga suggestions or cars na gustong ipa-review, comment down below. Thank you guys!